Hello, I'm Anne McPherson, Director of Human Resources and Organisational Development within NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde. As we pass the first anniversary of COVID-19, we are all reflecting on how both our personal and work lives have changed. The last time I spoke to everyone, we were developing our workforce strategy and I am pleased to advise that with your contributions, the strategy will be discussed at our next NHS board. Part of our ambitions is to not only acknowledge the inequalities in our society, but to reflect on the knowledge that COVID-19 had a disproportionate impact on many in our population and workforce, and how, as a significant employer in Scotland, we can work with our communities to make a difference. We initially had an ambition as a great place to work. However, having listened to you and taken feedback, we have changed this to growing our great community. We not only want to reinforce our commitment to a diverse and inclusive workplace, but to ensure we act on the priorities raised through our BAME, disability and LGBT plus networks and through listening to your experiences. It is critical that everyone is treated fairly and consistently, with dignity and respect, in an environment where diversity is valued, better equipping us to appropriately support our diverse patient community. I have established a workforce equality group, bringing everyone together to look at how we can collectively address any inequalities by changing how we do things. Our One NHS family is evolving as a key group to offer peer support, employee training opportunities and ensure that our career development programmes are inclusive, including 180 of our senior leadership team who will be participating in a workforce equalities programme, with further workshops scheduled for staff to attend. Another way we can feed back is through iMatter, our team engagement programme. As a result of the pressure and circumstances with the pandemic, iMatter 2021 commencement has been delayed. We have streamlined the programme and will now go ahead mid-August to October. Preparations will begin soon. Please complete the survey when it comes to you. I do recognise that many of our colleagues will be returning from shielding and some of our staff are living with ongoing health conditions as a result of COVID-19. We have introduced additional support to our occupational health team, including psychology, physio and OT support. It is important for all of us to reflect on our value of care and compassion and consider our own personal wellbeing and those around you. Thank you for your continued support and dedication working for us.